Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Vivaldi web browser version 5 is now rolling out and this latest stable release started rolling out today on the 2nd of December 2021. Now version 5 is a major update and release to the browser and carries a couple of key feature updates, a lot of bug fixes and changes and also the browser has been updated to the latest Chromium version as uh, Vivaldi is a Chromium based web browser. Now in this video I'm just going to quickly mention some of those key feature updates in version 5 and the first is that you can now build browser themes with a brand new editor and you also now have an option to share your themes. So to get to the editor we just head over to the menu, settings, click on themes and this is the new editor that has now been added in version 5 which gives us a couple of handy options and you can the first is you can choose your relevant theme, you can enable it, reset the theme, you can rename it and then you can have some options here to change the color of your theme, you have options to change the background of your theme and also different settings and options that you as an example can blur your theme, you have transparency effects, scroll bar style, corner rounding just to mention a couple of those settings. You can click on get more themes which will redirect you online to Vivaldi themes where you can you know, find a relevant theme, download that and, uh, and apply that to the browser. You can export your theme, you can save it to your, your hard drive as a compressed zipped folder and this gives you the option now to share your theme with relevant family and friends as an example and you can also open a theme and re-import a theme you know, from a saved location where you have saved that theme from your hard drive and you can re-import that theme into the browser. So the editor just gives us a couple of handy options now in version 5 um, where you can build browser themes with that brand new editor. Now the next key feature update is a new translate panel has been added which allows instant translations of highlighted text. So if I just quickly go to a website that I can translate. Now as you can see there are really translation options that have been built into the browser and I have mentioned these in previous version update videos to Vivaldi. Now to apply this new translate panel we just head over to the panel, right click, go to panels and then just click on translate and this is the new translate panel that has been added in version 5 and I'm just going to copy any random texture to translate. And we just click on translate and this just gives us a hand, another handy option for uh, translation features in the browser and my translation says red curry casserole with coarse noodles and then you also can auto translate selected text so every time if you have that option clicked when you select text to translate it will automatically translate the text without having to actually click on translate. You can clear your translation, you can also show your translate history which is a nice handy feature and then you also have your different options uh, in whatever language you want to translate to or from. So the translate panel now allows instant translations of highlighted text. And then the last key feature update I want to mention and this is this has now been rolled out in version 5 due to user feedback and that's you now have a pop out menu for your downloads. Now to apply the pop out menu uh, to enable the feature first of all uh, we just head back to our menu settings, go to downloads and yeah you will see display downloads in a pop up. We just click that and you can see already we have the downloads pop up that has been added to the top right of the toolbar. Now as an example I'm just going to go to Vivaldi and actually download uh, the browser just to demonstrate for this video and you will see if I click on download and I save that you now have a pop out menu and um, you do have a downloads panel um, which I mentioned, I mentioned in a previous version um, of the uh, browser and update video to Vivaldi but now you have the option the pop out fly out menu as an option which just gives another handy um, option and feature um, for your downloads in the browser. And then if we just go back to our menu, bookmarks and we go to those release notes for this latest stable version 
which is Vivaldi version 5. And I've mentioned a couple, um, most of the new key feature updates, announcing shareable themes, translate panel with automatic translations and more. And I will leave a link down below to this web page if you're interested, as you can go check out all the new features in depth, as I have, I have summarized and mentioned most of these already. And then you get to the change log right down at the bottom, which takes you to all those various fixes, bug fixes, changes, and so on. And there are too many to mention in this video. So you, as I say, I will leave a link uh, down below for you if you are interested to go check this out more in depth. And then if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, just go back to your menu, help, check for updates. And if it hasn't done so already, this will update you to the latest version. And if we head back to our menu again, help about the latest stable version now of Vivaldi, which is a major version update, is version 5.0.2497.24. So that's 5.0.2497.24. And as mentioned, um, the browser has also been updated to the latest Chromium version, which is 96.0.4664.51. And this will also contain all the latest fixes and security updates to the Chromium engine um, as Vivaldi is based on the open source Chromium platform. So that's more or less the key feature updates that have rolled out in version 5. As mentioned, there are a lot of bug fixes as well. I will leave those release notes down below um, if you're interested. And I hope you found this video useful. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.